Something feels really different here. Oh, I got two giants. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift these ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the size of these. Look at the size of these ones. Behind me, I have Avery Bonin and her father, Ryan Bonin. And we're on Lake Erie. We met separately, drove separately. And I'm in my boat, I'm in my limo craft, and she's in her limo craft. And we are going to have a little friendly competition. Paul Castellano versus Avery Bonin. The race to 50 starts now. So I'm excited. This is the first time we've fished opposite, though. We've never, uh, we've always shared a boat together. So, okay, this is the first time out here for Perch. This season, for me, you know, a little bit deeper, that 25 to possibly 63, 65 foot zone. We're in the eastern basin of Lake Erie. You can find giant schools. Um, so that's, that's the plan is to hopefully get on them. So we're gonna share that with you. We're lucky right now, there's no wind. Always a factor, you know, especially in big bodies of water. So, it's... so we're physically just looking for, there's lots of options you can use for your screens, right? But the down imaging, uh, the transducer on this Gen 3 Mega is super clear and it picks up incredible details that help so much. So again, we've got some stuff going on here that looks promising, but what are they? All right, so let's put a mark on, on this guy just to check it out, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm gonna zoom right in on this. That there looks very fishy to me. So let's put a mark on that guy. That gives a couple little references, and we'll just keep looking. Ideally, you, you roll up and you see you know, just a solid line or, or, or all kinds of diff different separation mass, you know, tight to the bottom. So we'll spend some time here. We'll zigzag around because that might be the scenario. If we don't find a giant school of them, sometimes pay attention to those small isolated marks because there could be groups of 20 down there. But it's worth taking a look when you start to see consistency in a small area like in this range here. Okay, so kind of set up now. We got the aqua view going. We're actually looking for fish. It's like a mix of rock and mud. And then you're allowed two rods each out here. So I've literally just got these in the holders and I'm fishing, uh, this one here has like a homemade pickerel rig. And this one here is just traditional drop shot. So we're gonna give this a little bit of time and then we are um, gonna keep moving around, hunting around. Oh, she's got one. She's got one. Yes, Avery. Easy, easy, just real slow. Yes. Did you get it? Oh, I got one too. Aim, I got one. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. I am hooked up right now. I'm on. Took a while. We spent the last two and a half hours cruising around. Woo! -hoo! Right there. That's it. So what we've been doing is um, we're literally just driving around and you can see, uh, let me get this off the bottom a bit so you can start to see it. Wait a second, there we go. So you can see sand. So there's our first clue. We, we've been checking on a lot of rocky areas and that's great. And sometimes they're on the rock, but we just pulled over this patch of sand and we literally just got three perch. So we are using a combination of the underwater camera, right? Which is super handy just to kind of ID fish <clears throat> and ID what they're holding. So it's not always, uh, use just to find fish but more sometimes a, a tool to help you figure out you know what they're relating to so you can try to duplicate it. Avery literally is holding a giant and reeling one in and I am 25 feet from her <laughs> and nothing going on. I do. Yeah. Woo! Got him. That's awesome. Okay, so the idea, I guess, is get down there as quick as you can. There's a whole bunch of them on the graph here, guys. There we go. Got the big jumbo. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's so many on the graph here, guys. So many. So many. I lost it. I had one. I had one. Dang it. This video stuff. Big. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, no. I'm on. I'm on. Okay, so literally... This is what happens when you find them. I'm finding one. Avery, turn around. Let's see that for a second. Look at the size of that perch that she's got. I'm gonna show you what they look like on the graph. This is what we're looking for. Close to the bottom there. All those little marks, those are all perch. So use your electronics, find them. Spot lock if you can, if you have it, or anchor, or just make short drifts. 
and uh, get some minnows down there. The water's cold, it's 36.4 degrees here. So we opted for live bait, but they'll bite spoons and they'll bite little plastics, but come on. Come on. Big in! I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating right now. Buddy, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is a giant. This one's a giant. Sounds better when you say that, Avery. Just say they're giants, right? It gets everybody, gets everybody amped at home. Work on your boat flight game. Look at the size of that one. Oh, yeah, look at the gobies they're spitting up. Wow, I gotta show you guys this. This is really cool. Okay, so check this out. Pretty cool. We weren't sure what they were feeding on, but these are actually baby gobies. It's from those two fish there, so like these are really tiny. That's like, heck, less than two inches. These are like two and a half, three inch size. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, the graph is just lit up. So I got one bite right now. I'm gonna wait until I can get a second one. Okay, so I feel like there's a second one now. No, no, it's just one big one. Big one. Oh my goodness. Oh, fell off. That's a giant. That's it. So we are definitely on a giant school now. We're dropping shiners down. We've got some homemade pickerel rigs. You know, it is absolutely perfect out here. It is glass. <laughs> Faster you get them down there, think about it, Avery. Like as I'm unhooking, I'm dropping another one down. Oh, I threw the perch back. That was really, I, I don't know, because I'm just so used to throwing fish back. The other thing I'm noticing too, and I saw it with yours, the livelier the minnow, the quicker you get bit. You notice that? Oh yeah, this one's got a fish on it. This one's got a fish on it. Oh my goodness. They are nice. I'm on. Oh my, hey, something's going on here, guys, with mine. Something weird's going on. Hey, I got two. Yes, 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 yes. So that's the beauty of this rig right here. Check it out, two at a time, the race to 50. Wow, so cool, so cool. You know, so it took us almost three hours, the better part of three hours to find these things, but a day like today when it's calm, that's what you do, you just kind of drive around real slow and be patient. Find the sand today, it seems to be the thing for us. We'll find those sandy patches near rock. Oh boy, oh boy. I got three on the deck right this now. This is crazy. Oh fuck. Something feels really different here. Just saying, yep. Oh, I got two giants. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift these ones. Oh, look at the size of these. Look at the size of these ones. Check it out right there. Craziness. We got a spot right there, two at a time. Big ones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's it. That's the one, right there. That is it. Monster perch. Right there, oh my goodness, let's measure this one. I think it's a 13 incher. Mouth closed, it's exactly 13 inches. 13 incher, those are good ones. As big as your hand. Springtime perch on Lake Erie. You know, it's not real hard, it's finding them. Finding them's the trick, but light line's important. We got six pound test going, and we're using small steelhead hooks. You know, hooks that are size, um, I'm using a size eight or size 10. And, you know, we talked about this rig, so I think it's a good time to show you this. So there's a small chartreuse bead, you know, a size eight red steelhead hook. And then on the other end, there's a second one. So you can actually see that there's two hooks on here. I don't know why it's showing up. There's two hooks, same little chartreuse bead, red hook. And then I have a one ounce weight attached. So it's just a modified homemade pickle rig. And that's how we've been getting our fish. The heavy weight's used because we're in deep water, 55 feet. We just want to get down there and pin it. We're not casting it. And, but it's working really, really well. It is time to count our fish. So Coach Paul has about 36 fish. No, I have 36 in this live well. Two. 32. 33. 32. And this. How many? At least counts as five. So I have 37. So we're tied, because I have 36 no, plus one. No, you have 36. Not a chance. I have 37. I am the champion. Whatever. No, I thought she had me, no doubt. <laughs> and the walleye, that was clutch. That was clutch. So if you want to call it an official tie, because of the walleye, okay. I'll call it a tie. So we have tied. <laughs> there is no winner. <laughs> no winner. Okay, air high five. Ready? Pow! And I hope that there's some things here that you guys learnt, a few tricks on how to find some perch and 
to be patient when you're looking for them and then once you find them uh, do your best to capitalize get down there quick you know live minnows are good if you have dead salted minnows that's fine too um, rose fishing on youtube just check it out guys amazing videos i've been very lucky done a few with her that was one heck of a afternoon we had out here